Um, he did not. He did not. I would not expect him to play this week. Is there a chance, though, that he will be playing before the season ends? I hope so, but um, kind of taking that week by week now. Coach, uh, how has Brady and Coco been playing the last uh, two or three games, four or three coaches? It looks to me like he's beginning to show some things. He is. He's come a long way. Um, when he first got here, it was all about power and the kind of the bull type play, and now really doing a better job with his hands, understanding his gap integrity, and, and uh, becoming a more complete player. And I think, you know, even another year after this one, he'll really be a, a dominant force for us. Is there any uh, you know, any of the young guys who are red shirting that are that have looked consistently good on the scout team this year? Who do you, who do you feel like is going to help you the most? Going into yeah, there's 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 a, a really good group over there. Um, Eli Howard is a guy who transferred who, who's really done well all year. Ivory Jackson, um, Noah Jones, uh, Houston Miller, uh, Caleb Hill. So it's it's been a dynamic group for us on the scout team that we've kind of kept together and are ready to get them out there this spring. So I'd say all those guys have, have been a real force and have gotten better. And uh, I know Coach Patrick's anxious to get them out there and get them some some real reps this spring. Is Ivory Jackson. Uh, we're playing him at tackle right now. He's really developed, um, put on a lot of weight, uh, strong, fast. We're having a hard time blocking him, so that that's uh, bodes well for the future. How much does he weigh now? I, I think around 275, 280. So I, I bet when he got here it was 255, 260. So it's, uh, it's the weight program has been good, and obviously the nutrition. How's Pat been doing these last couple of days? Good. The best he's been throwing wise. It's still not. You know, cutting it loose in practice like you'd like, but um, by far the best it's been since the injury, and, and hopefully that translates to you know playing good on Saturday. I know he kind of talked about someone yesterday that you know been pressing a little bit whenever uh, feels like you guys need to get a score, gets frustrated with things. Is that something you guys have kind of talked about? You know, just trying not to press as much, just kind of go with it. Yeah, I think so. And you know, we got to have other guys step up and help him. He can't just feel like he's got to do it all on his own. We haven't had a lot of explosive plays in the run game, and really in the pass game, either teams are trying to keep it in front. And um, he's just got to continue to take what they give us, keep with his fundamentals and techniques, and um, you know, good things will happen. And I guess that is kind of like you said, the last two games you'll haven't had as many as explosive plays as, as you'll have before. Has that just been a, a byproduct of everybody kind of dropping off seven or eight? I think so, and, and I think when they do that, you know, you got to take advantage of that in the run game and, and spring some of those 15, 20-yard runs, and we just haven't. You know, we've had some two, three-yard runs or some five and six, and um, when they're that loose in there, you got to get more than that. What do you attribute that to? I mean, not having the success. Yeah, I think, you know, up front, we're, we're probably not moving bodies as well as we should, and, um, you know, running back-wise, still some young guys growing up, figuring it out, but... Um, it's, it's something last year I think we could have really taken advantage of with that line and, and the running back. And we just got to keep growing and keep gelling. And, and hopefully, you know, this is the week it clicks. How special teams looking? Are you seeing improvements? Or are you still thinking that it's more personnel than? Yeah, I, I think, you know, like I said the other day, some of those units that haven't improved, I mean, that's got to make some changes, at, you know, at the end of this deal and hopefully bring in some players that can do a better job, whether it's the specialist or the cover units. Um, or the return unit. So just something we'll look at. We'll continue to work. But, um, you know, until Saturday, I don't know if it's gotten any better. How close has Daly on kind of been to breaking one? Because I would guess he's probably a guy that has quite a bit of speed when he can get in open space. Yeah, he can run a little bit. Not, you know, Justin stocks and right, fast. Right, right. But um, he, he's close. It's just we got to find a way to hurt him and, and try to uh, take advantage of those looks that we're getting. Speaking of Justin, what is the reason that y'all have not been able to get him as involved? Considering the last two years, he made made a bunch of big plays for you. Yeah, I think uh, you know it's a number of things, but he, he's I've really seen some development in the last couple games that that I like. Um, Last year, we were able to do some things with him and DeAndre in the backfield, and he took advantage of some of that. And this year, um, teams have keyed on him in some passing situations, and then we haven't run the ball as well we, as we would have liked. So I think it's just a combination of those things. After you guys got to watch him, what did you kind of think about how Derek played his first game back at X and, and where he's kind of at speed-wise and all those kind of things right now? Yeah, he, he's still getting back into it. Um, 
he has some unique abilities at times, and then he's got to, uh, you know, obviously protect the ball a little bit better. But he's blocking hard. He plays fast. I think he's going to be one of those guys. It's very similar to the Westbrook at OU or that second year transitioning from junior college, you really see that next step. And hopefully we can finish strong with him and then go into the spring and, and really have a great spring with him. Just daily update on more and water. <laughs> right where we've been on that. So that's it. Thank you. Thanks.